Does inspecting your bees freak you out or stress you out? You know, some beekeepers tell me that they hate inspecting their bees because they're worried about getting stung. They're worried about not knowing what to look for. They're just not sure what to do next based on what they see. Well, here's an eye opener. We're never comfortable with what we don't understand. And a lot of people just don't understand what to do with inspecting their bees. Now, as you know, I work with a lot of beekeepers all throughout the US in my mentorship program. And I talk to a lot of beekeepers about what their struggles are. And it has given me a lot of data to know what new beginners are dealing with. And I'll tell you what, here's the first thing that new beginners need to get rid of, this right here. Don't worry about being perfect. We always feel like, oh, I need to be perfect. I need to inspect my hive like a master beekeeper. I need to inspect my hive like a commercial beekeeper would. I need to know what they know. I need to know what David knows. How do I get there? I just don't know what to do. I hate inspecting because I feel like an idiot. Well, get rid of trying to be perfect. Listen, master beekeepers weren't perfect when they first started. Commercial beekeepers, they weren't perfect when they first started. Nobody's perfect. You're a new beginner, or maybe you've only done it less than five years. It's gonna take you a little time to develop some of these skills. So get rid of trying to be perfect and beating yourself up. What's gonna help you most is to be prepared. A lot of times beekeepers go into their hives and they're not prepared to what to look for. So today I'm going to give you some tips on helping you to make a better inspection and how to calm down and relax. So the first thing I want you to do is realize this is a learning curve on how to inspect. And the first thing I want you to do is you need to learn to use a timer on your inspections. Now, wait a minute. A lot of new beekeepers get out there and they start inspecting and they go through all of their frames. The bees get angry. They're not sure what they're looking at. And 30 minutes later, they know nothing more about the hive, about the inspection, and all they are is stressed out stung and frustrated. So let's make this easier. On your inspection, if you're new to this and if you're making your first inspection or maybe your first year, I want you to take a little timer, set it for 10 minutes. Start the timer. As soon as you get ready, open the lid, smoke it, do your inspection. When this timer goes off, when 10 minutes is up, I want you to stop the inspection. I want you to put your frames back, smoke them, calm them down, 10 minutes is up, put the frames back in, put the inner cover, top cover on, and walk away. Your 10 minutes is over. Now, why am I recommending you only do a 10 minute inspection? Because it's gonna alleviate the possibility of things going bad, you becoming stressed out, and just becoming more frustrated. I want you to get familiar with inspecting it, get familiar with lifting a frame up and looking at things, but don't do it very long because you're new at this or you're uncomfortable with it, so just do it a brief amount of time to help you get more comfortable. Now, tip number two, what I want you to do is take your video camera or your cell phone, stick it on a tripod, and I want you to videotape yourself doing an inspection. Now, the best critic of you is you. <laughs> I mean, other people may criticize you, but you know, we're hard on ourselves. So videotape yourself doing an inspection. Bring it back to your house and watch it and kind of decide what you could have done better, what may have been a snagging point where you snagged on something that uh, stumped you. What is it that you did really well? So evaluate your inspection by watching a video. It doesn't have to be real close, but you can watch how you're handling frames, how you're moving things around, and it'll give you some clues about what's really going on if you can watch yourself do an inspection and use that to evaluate, to make improvements or to compliment yourself, pat on the back, you did a good job. We're about to get into our third tip. I love you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos. It means a lot to me. Well, it also means a lot if you would just subscribe. Bobblehead David says, please click on the subscribe button and to help my videos go out to more beekeepers, especially new people, maybe like yourself. Let's get this video in front of them. All you need to do is click on the like button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let me know if this is your first year in keeping bees, and that will help my videos get pushed out more on YouTube. Now let's get into the next tip. Number three, while you're in the house, get a notepad, get a journal. Don't write a whole bunch of stuff down. I just want you to write down, what did you see? A few things that you saw, and what you did not see. For example, I saw some brood. I saw some eggs. I did not see the queen. Just make some notes like that. 
I did not see a small hive beetle. I did not see any mites. Of course, they're hard to see. Just write down what you observed or what you did not observe. Now, this fourth tip is extraordinary. I can't believe I'm sharing this. The first time I've ever thought this through. I'm so excited. I'm pumped. I'm excited about sharing this fourth tip with you. The inspection value is not as important as the knowledge value. Oh, wow. Boom. That's, <laughs> that's just like, wow. Now, let me explain it. I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know if I can explain this. Let me repeat it. The inspection value is not as important as the knowledge value. For example, if you were to open up a hive, take the top cover off, smoke it, take the inner cover off, and I don't know if I can lift one of these frames out uh, with one hand. Ooh, I got it with my fingernails. Okay, so see how we're, this is the inspection value. We're just lifting a frame out. Here comes the knowledge value. The knowledge value is looking, knowing what you're observing. What is this? The knowledge. So, you know, doing this stuff, like putting a frame in and out, putting an inner cover on and off, putting the top cover on and off, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to do this or to mess this up. You know, you can take it off too fast, maybe stir the bees up, sure. I'm just talking about this kind of knowledge of the inspection activity is not as valuable as the knowledge of looking and knowing what you're looking at. Again, we're never comfortable with what we don't understand. So if you don't understand what this frame is, what's on it, whether it's honey, whether it's brood, what age the larvae is, if you don't understand that, you're going to be frustrated. Which leads me to the last tip. You have got to know what you're looking at. If you're not sure about the knowledge that you need to make this inspection, you're wasting your time. But let's face it, we have all gone out there at times, especially new beginners, and have taken the top cover off, inner cover, pull a frame out, didn't know what to look for. Now I've got an inspection sheet. I'm going to leave a link in the description below that will help you walk through your inspection and help you take notes. This is so important. It will actually motivate you to be proactive, to be prepared, to have the knowledge when you do your inspection. If you're not sure, you need to work on becoming more sure. You can take a class you can find a mentor in your area that can teach you. You can join a local bee club. I don't know, you, you just, whatever fits your kind of personality, I would really encourage you gain the knowledge that you need because you need to be able to recognize these frames. Is it a good frame? Is it good brood? Is it spotty brood? Is it capped over? Is it larvae? Is this American fowl brood, European fowl brood? A lot of times we just want to say bees are going in and out of the entrance and they look like they're happy, so my hive is okay. Or some people pick up a frame and say, I don't see any gigantic mites walking around, so I must be okay, confusing them maybe with a small hive beetle. So mites are hard to see. You can't see them if you have eyesight like I have. I've got to have reader glasses to see those mites. They're tiny. So don't just assume you know things take a class and do something to expand your knowledge that will make you more comfortable and make you less frustrated. And instead of hating your inspections, you'll start loving your inspections and you won't be able to wait to do your next inspection. Now, friends, I have a lot of online classes where I'm just talking to you like I am right now. And if you like my personality, if you'd like my teaching approach, please take one of my classes. I would appreciate it so much. And if you're really new to beekeeping, you're not sure really how to handle bees, how to handle a hive when you're doing your inspection. This particular video here has gotten a lot of people squared away in doing an inspection. Take a look at it here. It will help you inspect your colony. I'll see you over there.